so hi guys so today we would be doing another video on audio classification but there is a bit difference in this video in this particular notebook we would be using transfer learning uh, for this particular notebook and uh, model part if you don't know about transfer learning you can go and watch my uh, previous videos on ml theory which in which i have uh, explained you in detail about transfer learning what it is so the three things that we would be doing in this video is uh, load and use the yamnet model don't worry if you don't know anything about this we would talk about this in the uh, upcoming part and we would build a new model using the yamnet abendings to classify cat and dog sounds and we will evaluate and export the, the your model no now, now uh, this video would also be in two parts uh, in this because it's really hard to cover the whole part in uh, in one video it would be a video around 25 minutes and i don't want the videos to become boring so that is the reason i would be covering them in two parts that is of 10 to 12 minutes each part now in this part first we would start by installing tensorflow io if you don't know about tensorflow io it's a tensorflow extended uh, extension you can think something like that it's a tensorflow extended part and it provides useful extra data sets streaming and file extensions and is made by tensorflow sih sig io and you can see it's basically more useful for uh, these uh, audio parts you know it's more used for that only it will make easier for us to uh, for you to load uh, audio files of the disk and it is a collection of files as i've already told you which are not available in tensorflow's built-in support so i would just first go uh, the reason i'm using this specific version is i have tried using uh, the normal current version but uh, the thing is is it doesn't it doesn't support some of the features and it is it is not stable so that is the reason we are uh, going off with this particular 0.231 version and uh, once we click pip install tensorflow io it would start installing it i have just installed it a minute back so that is the reason it is not doing this because i didn't want it to waste any time on installing part so once you have installed that i would just run this and we are importing os pandas numpy matplotlib tensorflow tensorflow hub and tensorflow io the reason you we are importing tensorflow hub is very obvious because uh, we want to uh, directly go and fetch the pre trained model yamnet from there so let's talk about yamnet it is a pre trained deep neural network that can predict audio events from 521 classes such as laughter barking or siren so it is self explanatory i guess and it is a pre trained model it can use an audio waveforms as input just like the previous one but in that we were using spectrogram if you remember and uh, for each of the uh, 521 events from the audio set corpus so if you don't know about this audio set corpus you can simply go and uh, search it on google and you will get the results uh, sound and vocabulary data set it is available on research.google website and yeah this is the available data set you can see a lot of things are available here so yeah uh, it is an audio set which is available on research.google.com if you want you can download and explore the data from here and see all the type of things available there so so what we will do internally the model extracts frames from that audio signal and processes batches of these frames and now the version of the model uses frames that are at least 0.96 second long and extract one frame for every half of that that is 0.48 seconds and the model returns three outputs including the class course embeddings and the log mel spectrogram as if you don't know about spectrogram just go and watch the previous video we have talked in detail about how the spectrogram is helping in audio classification part now one specific use of yamnet is a very high level feature extractor that is a 1024 dimensional embedding output you will uh, use this base models input features and feed them to a shallower model the new model that we would be making using the tf.keras ds dense layer and then you will train the network on a small amount of data for audio classification and with, without requiring a lot of label data because the reason is because this is on already trained model so we won't be needing much of that data so this is similar to transfer learning for image classification with tensorflow similar similar thing that we have used in previous image classification part you see computer vision is a field which can literally go everywhere in in audio classification also so i would just go here and we are going to use the pre trained yamnet model uh, if you want you can even go to this website and uh, i would simply go here and yeah 
and uh, yeah this is the we have net model handle and for defining we do hub dot load this this is how you load a model and uh, this is the whole part available open collab notebook download everything is available here and uh, limitations have also been preferred so I, you can just go and you know just look at this how things work it is also available for tensorflow.js and light so if you want you can see the inputs it takes uh, uh, to flow 32 tensor input it takes represented as a mono 16 k hs samples in the range from minus one to plus one that is the initial thing we were talking about the frames it takes as input so i would just run this and uh, it would just load the model so with the model once loaded you can you know follow the yamnet basic usage tutorial and, and download a sample wave to run so this is a sample uh, wave taken from google api st storage and uh, just like previous video we are doing the same thing here and i would just run this and yeah it has been worked so we will need a function to load it similar thing we are doing we have done this in the previous video also de uh, defining this load wave function so for loading the files we would do this and uh, then we would uh, first take out the wave and sample rate and after that the wave, squeeze the wave rate and sample it we would cast and simply return wav for a tf audio resample so i would just run this and yeah once done that let's uh, let's uh, look at one of the output so i would just run this and uh, yeah this is the output we get so I am not sure uh, as usual that will this audio be available uh, would be audible to you but while you are playing with this notebook I am 100% sure you can listen to this so this is one of the voice available and uh, this is the spectrogram I am sorry the, the waveform of that particular audio form if we want we can even convert this into spectrogram but yeah then again same thing we are doing in the previous video so the reason we are not using spectrogram right now here is because we are using a pre-trained model here so we won't be needing that i guess now it's important to load classes that the yamnet is able to recognize and the mapping file is to present that yamnet model class path in the csv format so let's see what kind of uh, audios can this uh, particular model recognize so it can recognize speech child speech kid speaking conversation and it can look at uh, narration monologue and babbling child sh ch children shouting screaming i guess it's around uh, 20 to 25 parts it is available yeah giggle belly laugh chuckle shortle crying sobbing so yeah it can recognize a lot of sounds so it's a really good model now let's look at the inference so yamnet provides as i have already told you a frame level class score so in order to determine that particular clip prediction the scores can be uh, aggregated per class across frames. So how we are doing that? We are doing that by scores np dot uh, mean that we are giving x is equals to zero. You can see reduce the mean score x is equals to zero. So I would just run this and uh, we will get we will get the number of the mean sound and the embedding shape of the particular testing wave data. So this was the wave data we used. So this sound was of an animal and the shape of this sound is this so you can see this was the sh this is the shape of the sound according to the model and this particular audio which you heard was of an animal so yeah uh, that's pretty good now we, but we won't be uh, obviously playing with the uh, one particular sound library we would be using the ecg 50 data set it is a labeled collection of uh, around 2005 long second environmental audio recordings the data set contains 50 classes with 40 example per so we would just run this and uh, we would just download this particular zip file and uh, once we uh, get that the next thing is we are going to do is uh, is look at the exploring the data set so it has been downloaded so so the metadata for each file is of csv file is present here you can see and uh, yeah here it is present here and inside this uh, this particular csv uh, in the, this master file is the csv file present and if you look at this particular uh, master file you you would see that this is the media uh, metadata and this is the audio data available so obviously audio data would be a big data really big data because 50 classes are there so yeah i would just close this or else it would hang my laptop so this is the ecc part 
we, we are defining the CSV part and then we are defining the base data part, the audio part. And then we will look, look at both of them. And yeah, this is what we get. I would just use this to convert the data from Tune to an interactive table. This is a very awesome feature of TensorFlow. Uh, Collab notebook provided to us. And yeah, you can look at that. The file name, the fold, the target, and what is the category? Dog. Chimping birds, ch chipping birds, vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner, thunderstorm, a lot of data sets like that. Uh, if you wanted, you can explore more data sets, uh, more data by editing this. But for now, I would leave you here only. Uh, and in the next video, we would be looking at how to filter the data. The, now you must be thinking, why, need, why do we need to filter the data? This data is already uh, good. It is taken from a valid source. The reason we are filtering the data is because uh, this YAMnet model can only recognize these part. It cannot recognize something outside that part. So we want now uh, whenever we are uh, taking a data to uh, to be precise to that particular model only. So that is the reason we are going to do that for now. So thank you for watching the video. In the next video we are going to continue this uh, part. Thank you and have a nice day.